Hey guys, it's me Rainbow underscore right and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be touring the little house behind me. Um, this house isn't really done yet, but I kind of want to show you guys what I've done so far in this house. And um, this is going to be our new replay house. If you guys remember last time, I said the modern aesthetic mansion was our house. Um, but I didn't like that style. I think I said that before. But I don't really like that style of house. Modern isn't really my thing. And I want to kind of do something uh, that kind of matches my theme. And um, one of those things are colored houses. I don't know. After last time's house, I have a obsession with colored houses. So now we have a pink house. Before it was sage green. Pink is a color now. Um, I am obsessed with this house it is just beautiful it's a beauty um but let's get into it let me show you guys a little bit around the house and um it's not fully done so um please be patient um i think you would see the finished product um you know when the first episode of the roleplay comes out so um um the gardening is right here I added like a lot of new items and stuff um, that I usually don't add and when you enter this is what you see it's kind of like a lofty vibe it has like family house type vibe and then when you enter in you see the staircase that goes upstairs and you also see this little main entrance like sitting area like foyer type look um i like houses that are pretty cramped so this is a reason why i like these oops sorry <laughs> um so this is that and then custom sofa i was literally so excited about making this obviously i never made custom items before so it was kind of like a new thing to me and even if i made custom items it wasn't a sofa or like a bed or something like that it was more of just like adding like um you know like structural beams across the roof or something it was that it wasn't really a sofa so this was my first time uh, making a sofa and i honestly love the way uh like when you sit on it um i love the way it looks it looks so much better um than a actual sofa in bloxbury because you know how the legs go a little bit down i love that look and then over here oh we have a little couch like mini like one seater i think it's called like a um armchair or like i don't know like the one seaters i don't really know what those are and then over here um it's a fireplace in the middle but i feel like um it kind of takes uh, like some oh sneak peek it kind of takes away some of the space which, which kind of makes it a little bit better because um it's not very spacious it's very crowded and just you know to the point so i really like that and also let me see if this is placed correctly mm, kind of and i want to kind of make my intros videos over here because this is like a really cute space over here it's very pink and pink is one of my favorite colors along with sage green um so this was like my final thing before i started recording this video um this was my last room so there's no light in here yet um but i kind of added this bathroom this was inspired by my sage green house bathroom that was in the basement um if you guys remember that but that was that and uh another tip for builders like adding these vents in your house if you're doing like a family house it would give it a very realistic vibe if you're kind of like if you want like a vent or something in the wall i think that would make it look like oh it's a house for sure and then behind the fireplace we have a little seating area i really honestly did not know what to do behind it i didn't want to put like another table because i already had like a breakfast nook and then i also had like a dining room so i wanted something a little bit different and um i was gonna do custom chairs but like it was that end moment or it was like i want to film a video so i did not really do that so this is what i kind of did um i think this looks pretty good too like i feel like it's um you know it's not the best i can do like i feel like i can do something way 
much exciting but it's something that sh um it's for sure it's it it covers up the space and usually in house to cover up spaces um people just add random bookshelves or like um racks or like even just sofas so another tip to fill up spaces adding couch or like bookshelves i guess <laughs> and then over here we have this little space over here these paintings over here are from pinterest but i want to add like our individual family photos in here but for now i kind of put these because i didn't want it to look kind of odd and this bookshelf was literally so annoying to fill in it takes forever to decorate the bookshelves without making it crowded or overwhelming and i love this area over here um and then yeah it's just so it's like so, like it's like so pretty because um plants are one of the things in boxburg that also covers up space so this was i was like okay and then this is my first time using this table in a family house i usually did use this in the beginning of my building experience um for sure and i used it in a bunch of people's houses um but now i'm using it in mine and i like that um in the past house that um I think it was um, the Sage Greenhouse. I didn't have like a dining space, like a big dining room or like a breakfast nook. So I'm kind of happy that in this house, I kind of have like either um, just both of them in general. And I'm just so glad that I took the time and this, I made the house big enough to give it that space. So this is how this looks. And I, I tried using these um, geometric... Um, pendant lights chandelier lights um which is also really cool and then we have this over here i feel like i need to decorate this a little bit but i don't want to make a crowded i feel like this page bleh, <laughs> sorry this space is good enough because in role players you know if you have multiple people and even expanding the family a little bit we would be able to kind of move around without causing a um chaotic look obviously um i would add a lot of lights but right now even with this lighting it's pretty good but i know and then i want to add like a family gfx over here and family gfx over here and here's our breakfast nook i love this so much i need to add another chair right now it's just the three of us but maybe i might get a husband or a someone like maybe another kid i don't know i really want a husband but um in the family because i feel like that kind of uh completes like the questions of me having two kids so <laughs> um yeah you don't want two random kids um just out of nowhere <laughs> and me and sadie we were kind of discussing that uh, a couple days ago and here oh sorry here's the kitchen and this time i did put the stools correctly so you do sit correctly and i love the way you kind of sit and wait for your food um so here's the kitchen this kitchen was actually inspired by not my sage green house i feel like in the sage green the kitchen was actually p uh, green sage green it was smooth plastic sage green um in here i kind of went with a beige wood texture um to spice it up a little bit because pink and beige wood uh texture got very good together so that was kind of my basic plan to do that i guess and the outline of the kitchen kind of reminds me of my own house not exactly but like this part over here um reminds me of my house and then we do have a window and then usually here's what i cook but it's flipped but this isn't my house so it's like it kind of this portion does kind of look like this side kind of looks like my house in real life but it's not uh, my house in real life is way different it's not pink for sure um would i want it to be pink yes um that kind of reminds me of that one meme where it was like a black house um next to like a pink purple house and it was yeah <laughs> Yeah, and that's how my house would be the pink one <laughs> and then this counter um space over here i feel like i need to work on the decorating it's a little under decorated which i feel like all of my houses are but i'm trying my best i'm trying to make it cluttery and just very mixed in yeah. this portion of the house you would be like rainbow this looks like your old house <gasps> what the heck it does oh my god really i didn't know <laughs> 
it's not like i copied it from my other house it's not like i went on youtube and be like okay rainbow and underscore ID, deleting sage green house and then i was like okay she's the one we're gonna do this um that wasn't me for sure that wasn't me um but um for garages it's very hard to pick a specific style or look you want to go for a garage because a garage is a space which isn't used as much it's more of a kind of like a decor space not even a decor it's more of just a neutral type of space um for um just you know your car and stuff so decorating a garage is very hard for me and sage and the sage greenhouse was the first time i actually overdid the garage a little bit more than you know my own bedroom so i kind of took the inspiration from that um all credit goes to rainbow you know you gotta give credit to the you gotta give credit to the people you know you can't you can't do this you can't copy it i'm just kidding you can actually um i feel like with my builds i don't really mind because from the start until now it's much of a improvement rather than um but some people do like building my house but i kind of get bored you know looking for houses i'm kind of picking the one like saying that's the one i want to kind of go with but i think this garage was like the one i chose and i did copy my own garage my own old garage for this but i feel like um i kind of give it another spin to it it's not exactly the same but it's similar um and then oh on the other side there's more um this my old garage was i think three by three so it was like three the length was three width was three it was three times three this one is four times four i kind of made it a little bit larger and over here is kind of like you know in garage you had like the shoe racks and stuff so this isn't a bench but you can make it a bench um this is actually the plain rectangular shelf and i rescaled it to match the thing so i got my shoes on the left sadie's shoes in the middle and hearts tiny little toes um his little boots in the last to the right and i just put a waist there and a cute flower market but like uh, what, what does that say bald loops whatever that and i got these photos from pinterest if you want it i can leave the link in the description but i don't you can really just go to pinterest and be like and then over here is the outside we're gonna have a backyard which i'm really excited for um and i also want to show you guys the um upstairs i kind of just came out of the house but oh also these stairs are custom so um if anybody's wondering okay wait let me close the door <laughs> um yeah so this is the upstairs the up sorry about that the upstairs isn't final this is how it looks from upstairs it looks very very cool um i love the living room it's one of my favorite parts um here's the rooms so these rooms aren't final yet i just kind of made the outline so this might be my room i know it's big but then we might ha add a bathroom um to it or maybe this can be a bathroom like i um because as i said earlier um we might add like a family into it and this might be um which we call it heart room just because he's a toddler and you know mom needs to be there and we might need like make a little playroom over here or something or like even a sitting room or a living room up here for like just comfort meetings and then up here is princess sadie's little um bunker i'm not bunker it's not underground little palace um i know this is a very large room for her because um i just felt like she needed it um i can even make this my room so we are just in the progress i feel like the bath a bedroom downstairs is bigger and then she might have her own um bathroom over here or maybe a little um art room or dance room depending on her and um this is going to be our family's little uh rooftop we're gonna have like grill um you know fireplace over here you know f during the winter winter time and then have like a little tent for the kids and just a bunch of things so i'm looking forward to a bunch of these items and this is how the house looks from the back i like it from the front better the back is a mess 
the back is honestly mess. Um, I haven't gotten to the second floor. I just did the first floor and I spent like almost all of my money. The first floor cost how much? Let's see. 152k so the whole house right now has it is cost 152k isn't that scary like for what like for what a kitchen a living room a dining room a breakfast nook and a uh, bathroom kind of surprised it does cost a lot but um i feel like this is gonna be a 230k um house and usually blocksburg i feel like it blocksburg is such a scam i swear when you delete your house it takes around 100k if your house is above 100k so if my house is like 230k like my past two houses have been it takes away a whole entire 100k away and then i'm left with freaking like 100 left and i find it so annoying because i do not want to go work again i literally want to build and start over and you know you can't even delete it because deleting takes like like 75 percent of your money or something so it is very complicated and very annoying and i hate it so much but i have no other option so we kind of have to live life like this until Bloxburg gets rid of this stupid scam so yeah this is kind of okay so this is sadie's room her bathroom and my room is over there i feel like my bedroom's a little bit bigger than hers but yeah that was my house um it's a work in progress and i am i'm so excited i think next week would be the first episode around the time you're seeing this it might be just the next upcoming monday or something but it would be the next video for the roleplay series and i'm so excited because we're finally moving out um i'm sorry that like the whole it hasn't been that long and we're like moving on and stuff but in Bloxburg, i feel like there's less of things to do or for me just less of ideas to make videos on so basically what i do is move out and move in so sorry if that's a little bit annoying but uh, we're gonna move out and we're gonna move in here and maybe a new family member might join us because um i'm really excited for this upcoming thing and i feel like it would be a great way to start the new years with a new family member in the new roleplay series it's going to be the same old series but i feel like with an extra person in it it would kind of make it new and kind of add like a different thing to it um so i'm really excited for that and i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time maybe in the roleplay series and i'm really happy for this house and i find this house very nice so if you want like any custom furniture and you want like what i did with that please let me know and i might make a separate video for any custom furniture that i know of furniture uh, furniture yeah furniture furniture yeah that's it that's the word yeah so um i know how to make sofas i think i know how to make tables and i know how to make transparent tv uh stands so if you want any help with that um and you're looking for ideas please let me know and i'll make a separate video and i bet it would be able to help you out a lot because my videos might not be that handy but they it, they make sense some what not really not really actually so i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye and also also subscribe or like or comment to show support to this youtube channel um i really want to um reach 3k we're literally so close i'm so excited we're, we're like 300 400 away so please hit the subscribe button so we get close to 3k because i really want to get there and make a 3k video because i have something going on in my brain so yeah bye